So many of you spend a lot of time with our tools, and a significant portion of that time is spent in the Simulink Editor. Our goal is to make that time effortless, so you can focus on your problem instead of our software. We want it to be easy, a piece of cake, no instructions required. So let me take you on a tour of effortless diagrams. We'll start our tour, we'll, we'll start our tour of effort, with effortless connections. As you know, I can create connections by dragging a line between ports. Now this is what I call meat and potatoes of interactions. You can always fall back on this to make a connection. I can use control click to connect multiple blocks, and I think of this as Google's I'm feeling lucky button. You'll get what you want, oops, you'll get what you want if you know what you're doing. Since 14B, we added smart, we added smart guides, so when you when you align two blocks, you will see a queue come up and you can click on it to make a connection. But we ask ourselves, can we do better? In 18A, we added what I call tap to connect. When I tap on a port, all the ports that I can connect to are highlighted. When I hover over, okay, are highlighted. When I hover over any of these ports, I can see the preview. I can tap on the port to make the, tap on the port or the preview to make a connection. This works with lines and not just, uh, not just ports. And it's fully domain aware. What I mean by that is when I click on an electrical port, only the electrical ports are highlighted. The mechanical ports are not highlighted, and I can see the preview just for the electrical ones. So let me make that connection. And when I do this for mechanical ports, obviously only the mechanical ports are highlighted. So next stop on our tour is effortless block insertions. We introduced quick insert in 14B, and it was a game changer and a runaway hit. You did not have to leave the Simulink editor to add new blocks. How awesome is that? It has seen many improvements over the years, but let me highlight some recent ones. In 17B, when I type OR, I see orifice as the first choice. Now, I have nothing against orifices, but I'm looking for the OR block. And as many of you know, OR is not a block in the Simulink library. It's just an operation in the logical operator block. So in 18A, we added what we call aliases. Now when I search for the OR block, I get the logical operator block that's pre-configured with the OR operation. And the orifice is still available if that's really what I wanted. In 18B, Quick Insert got a whole lot smarter. It can do pattern matching and suggest blocks based on patterns it has previously seen. So here, I have three, three systems that look very similar. The only difference are the blocks that are upstream of the integrator. So the integrator is in a different context in each of these, in, in each of these systems. When I invoke quick insert for the first one, I see plus and sum as the first two choices. When I do the same for the second one, I get gain, as gain and integrator as the top two choices. And for the third one, I see the two integrators as the top two choices. Now this is because quick insert algorithm is using patterns from our examples, and these are the most common patterns in our models. You can point it to your models so it can detect your patterns as well. The next stop on our tour is parameter editing, and this is by far my favorite stop. You can edit parameters with block dialogues, and you can edit them with the property inspector, but the question we ask ourselves is can we do better? So in 18B, you can edit parameters wherever you see them. You see a constant, you can change it. You see a gain, you can change that too. From and to workspace blocks, absolutely, not a problem. So the next stop on our tour is automatic port creation. In 17A, we introduced just-in-time automatic port creation. When you drag a line to a port, we will automatically create the port so you can connect the line. You don't have to pre-populate it or pre-create the port before. In 18B, we did one better. We added support for automatic port creation without lines. You can now define, define your I.O., your system I.O., before you create the port. I can select from a signal port, a simscape port, or even a bus port. I can do this for the chart block, and I can even do it for the scopes. Once I'm done creating all the ports, I can just wire up my diagram, and I'm done. The next stop on our tour is cleanup. Now this model has a ton of space over here, and I wonder if I can rotate these blocks 90 degrees and move these blocks over to save some space. 
So let's give it a try with not so effortless cleanup in 18A. So I select these blocks over here and I'm go to, I'll go to the diagram menu and I'll click, and I will click rotate counterclockwise. What this does is it rotates the block 90 degrees, every one of them. And now I spend several minutes cleaning this up. Yeah, by the way, this video is 10 times sped up. So I'm like almost done, but now these blocks are in the way. Let me move those over. All right, you know, five minutes later, I'm done. So we ask ourselves, can we do better? Now let's start, try that in 18B. I'll select the same blocks, and I'll do the exact same operation. I'll go to the diagram menu, and I'll say rotate counterclockwise. And look at that. They rotated as a group. I can move them over, and I can move these blocks over. And that took me 15 seconds. It's almost like a time machine. I got four and a half minutes back. <laughs>